I think we'd have to say this episode was better than number one, actually. I would agree. Yeah. We got a lot more out of it. Mm. Not just exposition. There was a lot of exposition. But then episode one was full of exposition as well. It was needed, obviously, yeah. to set up the show. But I feel this episode was better paced than the first episode of Loki. Hey, no, Ridge, you're coming in. No, we got nonsense say, but we do have episode two. The review of episode two of Loki. And again, we are late. It's going to be very tough for us to catch up in time for the finale at this rate. But you never know. It could happen. Just, just about on time but this episode was markedly better pacing wise it was improved story wise you got a bit more cohesion as to what's mm -hmm. really going on other variant loki's being better than tom hiddleston's loki which is something we didn't like i disagree with that tom yeah. hiddleston's loki is the best loki they're he... proving that wrong i i don't know i don't think so no this new loki mm. this lady loki lady loki she only has a jump on loki mm because she's known about the TVA for longer. But when he found out about the TVA, he already had his plan formulating. Mm. He is smart and conniving and backstabbing. Yes. And I think this was proved right in today's episode. I think that they're going a certain route with it, which is that potentially Loki is gonna become one of two Lokis in the MCU. And she is going to have a prominent role in the future of the character and the story of Loki. And potentially replace the Loki we know with this new Loki. We know very little about her characterization because there's really been nothing for us to see so far. But she seems like she's got a bit of spice to her, a little mm -hmm. bit of pizzazz. And that kind of fits the Loki vibe. The big, big that happened in this episode was that we found out that Lady Loki is playing some trickery and Loki's the one who figures it out. Yeah, he does. He is smart, clearly. When he does set his mind to things, he is intelligent. That's one of the reasons why he was able to trick everyone on Asgard repeatedly <laughs> over many years. Um, but he figured out about the apocalypse mm. ending of timelines and how someone could use that to their advantage because anything that happens before said apocalypse is going to be destroyed anyway. It's inconsequential, so isn't it? Because everything is going to get broke up anyway. Yeah. So that way they can live in that time, consistently go back to the beginning of that time, mm -hmm. mess shit up, do what they want, live there, and the TVA would never find out. Plus, he had a bit of an emotional moment with the Ragnarok reveal. Yeah, he did. You know? He that looked down something. at that paper, camera panned to the amount of Asgardians who died, mm. and you saw there was this like momentary tear in his eye. And then when he was speaking to Mobius, he was like, so forget about that. Let's move on to the real thing that I've now found out because I'm the main character here, you know? But it, it was a bit rough in that second. You saw him really think about it. And the dissolution of Asgard really did hit him. And I think his own mortality is still sort of growing on him like a pain. Mm. And I think he wants to be the new timekeeper. But this Lady Loki is like, that's small chowder. Mm. That's not what I want. Which makes me wonder, what does she want exactly? I think she just wants to destroy the idea of the sacred timeline and let there be chaos, essentially. I think that's her plan. And I think she kind of took inspiration from Loki's plan of saying, I need a lieutenant. I need mm -hmm. someone second in command. And she kind of took that and said, well, I could use a second in command, actually. Which is why I think they might be positioning her as being the more intelligent, the stronger, the more influential Loki in the future. Solely because of that one scene there. I kind of don't like that. I feel like Loki doesn't take orders. The Loki we know. He doesn't really take orders. He does, though. He took orders from Thanos, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he was also, like, on the verge of death. He looked very sick. And he was being promised all this glory. So... It's slightly different, you know? Yeah, he's a bit of a bitch for glory. Like, he hears the word glory, he hears the word power, and he's like, damn, yeah. glorious, powerful purpose. I need to do that. I need to do that. But another thing which we thought of, which might not happen, it might happen. I'm not leaning on it happening, but I'm leaning on it potentially being like, eh, it might, is that maybe Mobius is actually a Loki variant as well. I don't know why. I'm getting this off feeling about him. that He's not a bad guy. But maybe he's like brainwashed by the TVA to think like a TVA agent. Small things like when he was putting the cup down in the office. Yeah. He got called on it and then put it on the coaster after the fact. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like he doesn't seem as cookie cutter as the rest of the TVA seems. Mm. You know, his thing with the jet skis and kind of wanting to experience something but he's not allowed to. He's also not going to stray from his path because anything can compromise the timeline. But I feel like Loki is going to be the one if he comes back, mm. to be like, come on, let's go on an adventure. Yeah, because he put you the know? point forward, which was technically then only those in the TVA have free will. But they're only there to make sure that no one has free will, essentially, right? Yeah. 
so it's, a, it's an odd little conundrum you have there. So I think by the end of this show, it's going to be the case that the sacred timeline's messed up. Whatever fake organization, whatever illegality they might be doing, morally ambiguous stuff they might be doing at the TVA comes to an end. And it leads to the events of phase four in Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, in Spider-Verse, what happened in WandaVision. I think there's a lot of stuff that this show will lead up to. And so far, it's been good. I don't think it's hit the heights I wanted it to out of a low-key TV show. But again, I wasn't expecting it to be this show one year ago. No, I think I think knowing what the setting of this show is, mm. it's more about opening it up for the rest of the MCU whilst giving us a Loki storyline that we will enjoy seeing Loki in his like prime Loki form. Yeah, I just hope that they don't push him to the sideline and give this alternative Loki the limelight and make him like a secondary character in the show. Because they can technically do it because the show is called Loki and if she's a Loki then, you know, Loki is going to be the lead of the show but it's not the Loki that everyone wants to be the lead. I think they do this thing where they have these characters and these IPs and these platforms that they've built over 10, 15, 50 years, 60 years in the comics. And they know that a new character is not going to be successful on their own. Mm -hmm. So they go and they retroactively fit another character in to say, this is also a character we've created. You might like them as well. And then most people end up not liking them. But I do feel with this character, Lady Loki, there might be something good there. I think there could be. I am interested to see if any other variants of Lokis are introduced, because mm. Mobius talked about how he'd been up against Loki variants previously, and Loki was like, but I'm the superior Loki, right? But it, there was this familiarity there, yeah. and I'm interested to see how many Loki variants they've been, do they always cause mischief? Is it just in his nature to mess shit up? I think that's his role, he just fucks <coughs> shit up. And I think him being on the timeline, the reason why they've encountered so many Lokis is because he's the god of mischief. He's someone who breaks the rules and they have to rein him in all the time. So maybe we might find another Loki variant in two, three episodes time. They might find a dead Loki variant. Ooh. I don't know. I think there's a chance they will do a season two of Loki. Whereas WandaVision season two is yeah. not happening. And Falcon and the Winter Soldier season two is mm -hmm. definitely not happening either. So this one seems like there could be a continuation of this story because of the character and what that allows you to do. But good episode. Hopefully episode three will be decent. We can only hope for that. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Loki himself gonna come after you. If I can find an image of Lady Loki, then it's gonna be there. If not, then Tom Hiddleston, you're gonna have to do. Nothing wrong with that. Tom Hiddleston, Nothing very nice man. Very, very sexy man. Very attractive man. Very dashing. Dashing. Man. That's the right word. You don't want that, do they want that? No. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra Lloyd. I've been India. She's been on Sensei. You've been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow if you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. So hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the podcast. Podcast means nonsense. And Punjabi. And we also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same, slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh.